standard 10th mathematics 2 chapter 7 menstruation in standard 9 you have studied the different types of three dimensional objects their surface areas and volume let us recall about them first a cuboid cuboid has length breadth and height so its lateral surface area is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus breadth multiplied by height. Total surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 multiplied by in the bracket length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into height and complete the bracket. Volume of cuboid is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. The next object is a cube. A cube has all the four sides equal. So its lateral surface area is equal to 4 multiplied by side square. Or if you take the side as A, so we can write 4 multiplied by A square. The total surface area will be equal to 6 multiplied by A square. And volume will be equal to A cube. A cylinder, it has radius r and perpendicular height small h. Curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h. Total surface area will be equal to 2 pi r in the bracket r plus h and complete the bracket. And volume will be equal to pi r square h. A cone. A cone has radius r, perpendicular height h and slant height l. So its curved surface area will be equal to pi r l. Total surface area will be equal to pi r in the bracket r plus l. And volume will be equal to 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Sphere. It has radius r. So surface area will be 4 pi r square and volume will be 4 upon 3 pi r cube. Hemisphere. Radius is r. So curved surface area will be 2 pi r square. Total surface area will be 3 pi r square. And volume will be equal to 2 upon 3 pi r cube. Let us solve examples based on these formulas which you have already studied in the previous standard.